JFLOW on GCP virtual machines or GCP computer engine. Uh, first, you have to create a project, and here my project name is Black Current. And uh, let's go to Computer Engine. We will quickly start on Computer Engine and install some of the required software inside that uh, virtual machine. So here my instance names. We can give any instance names. So I will give here Airflow dash instance. Okay. Uh, then uh, there are uh, options for different different uh, virtual machines so if we go with the e2 series then here e2 medium uh, if we go with competent uh, optimized or memory optimized uh, let's uh, select this by default it will give us a 4zb let's check out some other one as well uh, if we go with n2 and n2 standard 2 it will give 8zb yeah. so let's go with this machine type as well uh, at least we will require some memory to run a scheduler, workers, everything on a single node of our JPLO components. <coughs> okay, uh, we can also change its uh, Linux type or OS type, but here we are going with the default one, so it is a Linux 11. Here it is going uh, giving you like uh, what which service account you want, so we are not going to change anything right now. Uh, we will just click this uh, allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic, so we can connect with that uh, VM uh, once our Apache Airflow instance is up. So we have to see that UI from a browser. So I just click on that create, and it is starting now creating the Apache Airflow instance. Uh, so it is like uh, only the virtual machine instance. We will install. A record software inside that uh, machine using this SSH. So once this machine is up, this SSH will be started. And in the meantime, we can also we have to also create uh, firewall rules to access this uh, particular external IP address from our port. So now the instance is up. So let's go to inside the instance first and create one firewall rule. So it will give us access to this VM. So click on the networks. Uh, here you will see the firewall. Okay, create a firewall, and we will give a uh, airflow ingress. So it is ingress rule. So it is like inbound same way what we have in the uh, EC2 for AWS. Uh, the uh, keep it as it is. Uh, so priority and all these things. Uh, here we will select the all instance in the network so it will allow all the instances from particular IP address so we are allowing this wildcard uh, IP address so, and uh, also the port so here we will specify the port is 8080 yep that's it so firewall rule is created now again let's go back to compute compute engine and uh, now we will do SSH so we are entering inside the SSH mode to access this uh, virtual machine. Uh, here, so first we will uh, do update of the OS. Then we will install some required software inside the OS, and uh, then we will create a Python environment uh, using Miniconda. Okay, so let's get started. So first command we should do apt update so it will update my linux os then the second command is should do apt dash y and upgrade okay that is a spelling mistake so it will require some time to finish it 100 percent and it is right now upgrading the Linux uh, images, whatever the base image was that. So if there is any kind of updates over there, it will upgrade it automatically by this command. Uh, once this is done, we will install the wget and uh, Python 3. Uh, it will take some time. Uh, okay so um, meanwhile it is installing i will also walk you through so this is our external ip address 
using this IP address uh, we will access our airflow instance once it is up and running so this will be our port 8080 okay so it will require some time right now it is a 9% uh, in progress let's wait for some time Ninety seven percent is is complete. Let's wait for some more time. Okay, this is done. Let's install our next command. Uh, we will install a duplicate uh, for that uh, shadow. Then apt dash cat install duplicate. Okay, this is done. Uh, let's install a Python 3. Uh, don't worry, I will share uh, all these commands. Okay, so install the Python 3 and peep. Uh, once the Python, Python 3 is installed, install uh, Miniconda 3 to create a virtual environment. Okay, uh, let's install a miniconda. So for that make directory miniconda3 and uh, we will install a miniconda using a wget. Um, bash miniconda.sh So we are executing this miniconda and then we will remove this miniconda.sh to clean up our environment. Next, uh, we will do conda in bash. So, we are initializing the bash inside the conda environment. Ok, 
okay now we will create one uh, a new directory and that uh, will be for virtual environment so here our uh, virtual environment we will make it as like air underscore env so it is at flow env uh, let's uh, go inside this directory okay uh, we have to set uh, airflow underscore home so it will be a global variable and we have to set it uh, to access it uh, from our this machine or, or this vm so this is like a current directory and uh, we set that airflow underscore home okay now let's create uh, this virtual environment so conda create name and environment uh, environment name and uh, it's like uh, python 3.8 okay let's check what happened okay it is saying that conda is not found so we have to restart this i'm just clicking on the closing that instance and again then opening the new ssh so it will be accessible the conda uh, just because on the same instance uh, or on the same terminal we install the conda so right now it is not able to getting that references Okay, let's check uh, conda is accessible uh, yep great so conda create uh, uh, name is airflow underscore environment and uh, python 3.8 now we have to activate this so right now it is a base environment and we activated this new environment now we are going to install uh, all the stuff regarding airflow so in this command we are specifying the airflow version python version and uh, this is a url so we are going to hit this url so it will do pip install from this uh, particular url with uh, provider edge gcp on top of that we have to install pyspark and uh, cryptography as well so let's just enter the uh, enter it is start installing it will require two to three minutes to finish this setup uh, once it is installed we have to just initialize the airflow database initializations uh, so it will reset our entire data set in the sqlite so by default airflow is coming with the sqlite and it will reset the environment for us uh, and uh, if you are aware like in the airflow we have to first create the admin user so once the environment is or database is initialized we will create one admin user Okay, so this one is installed. Uh, let's do airflow airflow db init. So it will initialize the database, and then we will do uh, we will create one admin user. Okay, so initialization is done, and uh, let's create admin user so for that command is like airflow users create uh, username uh, first name last name uh, role and email okay so it will ask a password and confirm passwords so let me add password to make it simplify i'm just entering admin admin okay so our airflow is installed we already created one user let's start at the airflow web server 
so by this command app flow web server it will uh, start the app flow web server on this port 8080 the meanwhile uh, let's open one new ssh for us to start the scheduler as well uh, so just because the flow is working with uh, scheduler and web support there are two components okay uh, so yep so airflow is up uh, we'll add admin admin as username and password okay you can see here the scheduler does not appear to be running okay so if we will start or enable some tag uh, it is not going to start just because scheduler is uh, not at up so we have to start the scheduler so before that conda activate air underscore environment so we have to activate our virtual environment then we can do that flow scheduler so it will start a scheduler for us okay now uh, you can see that that message is now disappeared and it is already like some of the uh, preloaded examples started executing so you can just go to here and you can start that yeah some examples are running now okay so this is running okay uh, that's all uh, and we set up this airflow here uh, using very simple within 15 minutes okay thank you guys uh, and uh, follow my channel and stay in contact thank you